Hi there, Tony Sycamore, market analyst for IG in Australia, with a review of some of the key events over the past week and a preview of some of the key events for next week. This week, we saw profit taking in the tech heavy NASDAQ and rotation into the small cap Russell 2000. Supporting the Russell, May's strong labour market report has eased concerns around a hard landing for the US economy and banking stress has been less than feared. Locally, the ASX 200 appears set for a third consecutive weekly decline after a hawkish RBA and higher yields weighed heavily on the interest rate sensitive sectors of the market. Next week, the key events will be the US inflation report, a labour force report in Australia and meetings for the FOMC, ECB and the Bank of Japan. Last month in Australia, employment fell by 4,000, missing forecasts for a rise of 25,000. This month, the market is looking for a rise of 15,000 in employment and for the unemployment rate to remain stable at 3.7%. In the US, the minutes for the May FOMC meeting showed that members were divided about whether to continue to hike rates in June or to pause. However, since the May meeting, we think a better labour market report and higher core PC inflation number tips the scales narrowly in favour of a 25 basis point rate hike before an extended pause. Turning to Europe, during May, the European economy's expansion has slowed noticeably and inflation has also fallen by more than expected. However, hawkish comments from ECB President Christine Lagarde has the interest rate market fully priced for a 25 basis point rate hike in June before another 25 basis point rate hike in July, which would take the ECB's deposit rate to 3.75%. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead.